Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update your iPhone, iPad, or touch to the latest iOS. So let's get started. Let's go right into settings. Under settings, you guys should scroll down until you see general. Under general, you guys will see the second option where it says software update. Under software update, this will load up. It might take a little bit longer than what you saw right now, but this is the basic that you would see. Some of you might not even see download at this point, but might just see install and that's normal because you might have already downloaded now for most of you if you scroll a little bit more down you guys will see automatic updates turned off which is perfect good for you always keep it off don't let your iphone do this installation plus the download by itself you guys should know what's going on because sometimes you just want to skip those updates because they come with humongous bug problems all right so right now this update i'm just going to show you quickly these are all the bug fixes, all right? So it's not that bad. And of course, although it's fixing some stuff, it comes with some stuff, right? So don't think that everything's gonna work fantastic. I would actually not even recommend to update unless you guys feel comfortable enough to do it and just take that risk. Because with every update, as you know, your iPhone also gets a little bit, sm a little bit slower. Plus, there's always bugs that come with those updates. Anyways, let's just click on download and install. So the first process will be to download. Don't worry if your iPhone iPad up touch turns off while you're downloading. If you're downloading the iOS update, it's usually not a big problem if it turns off just because you're downloading it. It's no big deal. And this update isn't that big, so it won't take that much time. It's not gonna take about 14 minutes that you just told me. It's gonna take a lot shorter than that. Remember to have at least 50% of your battery. Even if you guys have 100% of your battery, I always recommend having it hooked up to some electricity. And that's just because when you guys are installing the update, that's when you guys have to really worry that nothing happens. And before doing this, by the way, I always recommend making that backup. Doing that backup in either iCloud or just hooking it up to your computer and use iTunes. With iTunes, you guys won't have those limited five gigs that um, Mac gives you. You guys will have more than that. With iTunes, you guys actually have as much memory as you have in your computer. So it's okay. You guys won't have those storage problems when it comes to iTunes on your computer. So like I mentioned, the first step is downloading, then it's gonna install. So once it installs, you guys can just leave your iPhone, by the way, right? at this point, just let it be, let it do its thing. Sometimes it does ask you that you want to install right now or later. Even if you guys don't touch anything, it's gonna install it by itself, so it's all right. As long as you guys leave it there at least for 30 minutes, it should do its thing. It's usually up to your Wi-Fi speed. If you guys have slow speed, then yes, this will take longer. But for most of you, I don't see this taking more than 10 minutes, if that. And then for some of you, which faster internet, this could only take five minutes, including installation time. Anyways, guys, what we're gonna see is a black screen, white screen, Apple logo. So the black screen means it's restarting, right? Then we're gonna see a white screen, that just means it's gonna load, and then we're gonna see Apple logo plus a loading bar, and that's pretty much it, and it's just gonna restart, and we're done with our update. Like I mentioned, it's not a humongous update, so it's no big deal. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.